This BBC World News, I'm Babita Sharma. The headlines. The pharmaceutical giant Pfizer applies for authorization in countries around the world for its COVID-19 vaccine. It could be approved by the first half of next month. Well, let's get more on that story. It normally takes years to get a potential vaccine to this point. So why has it only been a matter of months in this instance? I'm joined now by Dr. Mark Toshner, who has been helping to recruit volunteers for the team working on the vaccine being produced by the University of Oxford and the drug company AstraZeneca. Uh, Dr. Toshner, thank you so much for joining us on BBC World News. It, well, as we've just said in the introduction, it can often take years, if not a decade, to get a vaccine to market. So can you just give me your understanding of why the time has been shortened and if it is safe? So the, the reason I'm speaking to you today, today is because I went viral on Twitter a few days ago talking about that normal 10 years. And, and I'm just a bit concerned that people don't understand what that normal 10 years looks like. That normal 10 years has nothing to do with safety. That normal 10 years is because the process of running trials is slow, it's bureaucratic, and it has all the sort of usual hurdles and administrative problems that most people in most industries would recognize. But this year, essentially what happened was, we have been given an unlimited budget. We've been given the whole infrastructure for, of the world for clinical trials. And, and, and most importantly, we, we've been given an unlimited resource of, of, of some of the best people in the world who volunteered for experimental medicine trials. So it's a little bit like if you're going through rush hour traffic in London and somebody just cleared away all the traffic, turned all the lights from red to green and then gave you the fastest car and a police escort. It's not that any of the normal safety processes that we do in clinical trials have been changed. It's just that all the normal frustrations of everyday life have been removed and we've been given this huge incentive, which is the, the, the pandemic that, that, that's, that's all around us. So our minds have been very sharpened that we had to do this and we had to do it as quickly as we safely could. And, and I just want to reassure people that that 10 years is not a safety thing and, and the speed with which the trials have been, have been undertaken is not relevant because they've been taken and done in the same way we would normally do them with the same very rigorous safety checks in place. I don't know if you saw some of the comments that were on social media, but there were a lot of questions regarding the safety of this vaccine and potential side effects in the future. Um, what can you say to viewers that have those concerns when this vaccine could come their way, perhaps in the next few months? Sure. I mean, the first thing is that those concerns are totally valid and absolutely reasonable and, and shared by many people I know. But the second thing to say is that actually, in reality, vaccines are the safest therapies that we have. So time and time again, vaccines outstrip any other drug or therapeutic modality from the perspective of safety, partly because of the, the regulatory processes around them, but partly because they are short acting. So the majority of vaccine side effects are in the first days to weeks. Uh, it's relatively rare for a vaccine to demonstrate any long term uh, safety effects. If you think about it, we've had hundreds of thousands of patients enrolled in vaccine trials. And in the last few months, we've been discussing individual episodes where patients have had a side effect. So that, that really tells you something. If you could imagine, I don't know, looking at maybe the whole population of Sunderland and then the whole world's media reporting every time someone was admitted to hospital or had a heart attack or had a neurological event, that's effectively what has happened with the vaccine trials. And the astonishing thing is that We've been reduced to talking about literally, literally one or two events. So I think people should take a, a lot of heart and a lot of confidence from that. But they should also take confidence from the, the fact that the regulators know the importance of this and they will pour over the data, as will every scientist on the planet when it eventually comes out. You will not get a vaccine unless the regulators and the scientific community are happy that it's safe. And, and, and that safety standard has not been compromised, it hasn't been changed. Um, we're grateful for your time and for sharing your thoughts with us. It is quite something, isn't it, when you wake up in the morning and find out you've gone viral. But uh, thank you for uh, giving us your time, uh, Dr Mark Tosh, thank you. My pleasure.